we need to go to the preferences over here and here we need to put in uh, two lines so you need only one line this one ESP in 32 uh, just this one suggestion package and you and with a comma you need another line for ESP 8266 so these uh, two boards have the different uh, different access libraries so what these uh, you can see that it's a web URL so what will happen the Arduino will be automatically uh, picking up all the libraries related to these two boards ESP2, ESP32 and ESP8266 so just these two lines and if I may show you here at the this website or if you just type in ESP32 installation with Arduino here are the lines so you need to exactly copy this put a comma and then you need to copy this this line okay and you just need to put these two lines over here and you need to put ok and then go to the tools and the board manager over here okay and in here you need to just type in ESP32 okay so with me it's already installed I can select the version and all the things and if it's not installed you would see an option that install the package so first of uh, first you might want to prefer going with the ESP8266 this uh, yeah first install this one and then go to ESP32 then install this one okay so install these two words so in previously when we entered the urls in the preferences uh, dialog in the arduino these will be automatically picked up so keep in mind if you don't put those urls uh, in uh, in there here you will not be able to see these uh, boards coming up okay so the arduino automatically checks in what you have uh, provided in in the preferences uh, <coughs> dialog okay okay so once you have these boards and then you uh, will be able to see uh, all these things ESP32 uh, Arduino and these ones so you just need to select the main board over here for the kind of board we are uh, working with right now and there are heaps of other boards as well and yeah it's uh, just up to you which board you are using okay so that's uh, that's it that's it uh, basically you just uh, so best uh, you just uh, want all of it so when you select this board arduino and on the top this board all you need to do is uh, leave everything else uh, as it is you know, don't touch anything and just click compile so and this is just bare minimum code nothing in it wide setup wide loop so just compile it and see if it compiles fine so here's I'll, I'll tell you the troubleshooting part so for me it is compiling fine but sometimes it doesn't compile okay it just uh, runs into some error and uh, yeah it just exits uh, all the way this one okay uh, you remember this uh, this part so it's uh, in the users in the C drive where your Windows installed the users your the computer name app data it's a hidden folder so make sure you uh, enable the show hidden folders thing okay so yeah like you can go to view options and here you just need to show hidden files and folders in order to see this folder app data so app data local and arduino 15 so basically you want to delete all the things in the arduino 15 so arduino will uh, make up this folder uh, fresh okay but if you have uh, other libraries installed then you uh, might want to be uh, very much careful so yeah i'll just uh, uh, prefer by going uh, into this uh, files selecting these files which are relevant to ESP 230 ESP32 
and yeah see uh, see other folders if they have the same so i'll, I'll just uh, delete those uh, specific files if i have uh, other libraries installed as well i uh, so i don't know which i don't want to uh, mess with okay so all you need to do is just to uh, delete all the uh, things in the arduino 15 folder and come back here then when you will uh, uh, compile it it will show you but it will not show you any error okay so next part is uh, seeing that uh, whether you have your drivers for esp32 installed or not so if your drivers are not installed correctly you will not be able to select this port for the communication so so the easiest way to do that is going to the device manager then installing your drivers for the esp32 so i'll just uh, plug in esp32 and i can see that i have these com ports over here okay so these are the silicon labs uh, cp21 x usb to your which is on com6 and if i go back to arduino i'm able to go this one so this is not supposed to be installed automatically so what will happen it depends on which uh, esp32 uh, you are using so in my case as you can see in this picture i'm using the si labs uh, i'm using the si labs uh, 210x chip so all you need to do is uh, go to their website it's a uh, and just go to the download uh, drivers and uh, yeah and just uh, just um, i think it's a uh, yeah just unzip the folder and when you will uh, not have these drivers installed properly you will see a yellow mark onto the and uh, this is specific device uh, which is uh, newly find uh, found in your computer you right click on it and uh, like update the driver and like this one so browse my computer and then you give it the path to the drivers that you just downloaded okay so it will automatically install the drivers